phone is amazing. I can call any time from anywhere. That could be why they call it a mobile. Oh. You've got a voice message. Yeah, well, I, I knew that. I'll, um, I'll listen to it later. You don't have to pick up messages, do you? No, not exactly. But this morning I sent my first text. Ooh. Ooh, you must be so proud. When people do not use their mobiles, it's like they're asking for trouble. Oh, no, I don't like the sound of that. You do realise when you get caught. Think positive and keep watch, yeah? You should never let you talk me into this. the stupidest plan I've ever heard. Oh, quit complaining and embrace the moment. I'm embracing it. Oh, it's never gonna work. Dear Duke. Dear Duke, I love you. I love you too, man. I'm sorry if I moan a lot, but it's just No, like a... you stupid idiot. Oh, it's what Shelley says to Duke in the message. Oh, I, I knew that. This is no good. It needs to be more flowery, more romantic. You see, this is where your whole plan falls apart. We can't do romance. Did I tell you my parting's down the middle? You've got loads of partings everywhere. Oh, good. Hayley, that's bubble gum. Bubble gum? We'll get the scissors. No, no, no. Bubble gum's fine. Well, it's um, definitely an improvement. Thanks. Tracy, there you are. So? Well, we got to write this poem. A love poem. For, for class. For class. We need a few romantic lines, and you're the most talented, creative person we know. What? Stuff like, you are my sun, my stars, and without you I'm in total darkness. That kind of rubbish. That's exactly what we need. You're really good at this, Wilson. Oh, please. It's not as if it requires any intelligence. I send you a thousand kisses, but send me none in return, as they burn a fire through my soul. I mean, um, excuse me, I go puke for a week. Fire through my soul. That's really good, Tracy, thanks. <laughs> Duke is going to be totally... Uh, Duke's going to be totally here any minute. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, we need to go finish our homework. Deep down aside, you two really are romantic. Very, very deep down. We couldn't find scissors, so we got pliers. He's never gonna fall for it. <laughs> Dear Duke. <laughs> you are my moon, my stars, my everything. I stand corrected. Gotta return Shelley's phone. Oh no! What if she's already realised it's missing? Oh, man, you need to learn to relax. Oh. Ah, Tracy, help me get this junk out of my hair. Touch your hair? I don't think so. Please, my mum won't be impressed if I turn up like this. Hold still. So, you're visiting your mum tomorrow? Yeah. But I'm not looking forward to it, though. Well, I am. It's just the first time I've seen her since. Don't worry. I'm sure she'll be pleased to see you. Well, well. Never thought I'd see the day Tracy Beaker had a crush on a boy. <gasps> what? I don't... I, I don't even like Wilson! Thanks very much. It's sickeningly obvious. Tracy Beaker is in love. I am not in love! It's okay. I'm not offended. Well, you should be. I 
having technical difficulties, Duke? I got a text message, but I can't work out who it's from. What does it say? It's private. You could always phone back the number the text message came from. See who answers. Great idea. You're a genius. Hello? Don't you just hate that when nobody leaves a message? Yeah, yeah. So rude. A rose for me. I thought it'd be nice for you to grow in the garden. Nobody's ever given me a rose before. Oh, I'm glad I could be the first. Hi, Duke. Hi, Duke. It's funny, isn't it? What is? Funny how sometimes you just don't realise how other people feel about you. How you can spend every day with somebody and think you know them, but then you find out they have these feelings that you never even knew existed. Who have you been talking to? Did someone say something? No, I was just saying it can make things pretty awkward. OK, listen, I don't know what Justine's been saying, but she's a liar. I do not fancy Wilson. I'm, I'm totally cool around him. I am the queen of cool. That's me. Tracy! Before you jump down my throat, I'm really sorry that I'm late. It's OK, I totally understand. You understand? You mean you're not going to spend the afternoon trying to hurt my feelings? No, I don't want to do that. Come on, Wells, over here. Tracy! See you later. Yeah, bye. Whatever. Now look what you made me do! Just leave me alone! OK. I was distracted. N not by Wilson, but by the sun. It was in my eyes. Sorry. Could we have a private chat? There's something I want to get off my chest. There are things I'd like to say, too. Right. OK, in my office after lunch? Yeah. I was going to send vitals because he said it to me first. I mean, it would have been rude not to say it back. To be honest, I wouldn't have really minded if I said goodbye to Wilson. I mean, I'm going to see him later. He's just, I think he's feeling a bit emotional, you know? I guess Mum's in hospital. Not that I'm worried about his mum or anything. I mean, I haven't even met her. He's the one that's worried. He plays guitar, do I mention that? He's made quite an impression on you. Wilson? What do you mean? Well, you haven't stopped talking about him all day. He's actually very, very annoying. Like you. It's about your new phone. I think I know where this is going, and it's time we cleared the air. Good. I'm concerned that your new phone is... Well, it's distracting you from your work. Well, that's not my fault, is it? Frankly, I think it is. But I thought I was your moon, your stars, your everything. I beg your pardon? <laughs> There's no use denying it. I saved the text you sent me. Look. Oh, oh. I don't sit on my phone right now. I think there's been some mistake. It's a text message. From you. Me? Roses grow in my heart for you. All my love, Duck. It seems you've misspelt your own name. It's the kids. I knew that. <laughs> Quick, Shelley's coming! House meeting. Tell everyone who's old enough to spell, I want them in here immediately. Now! Right. OK, everyone. Someone has been sending Duke and me text messages. And now Duke's phone has gone missing. I want to know who's responsible. What kind of messages? The romantic kind. Something funny, Tracy Beaker? Well, actually, yes. 
Oh, go on, admit it, Shelley. As a practical joke, this one's pretty good. If the person with Duke's phone refuses to own up... You'll text them something mean. how that got there. Oh, really? You think I did this? Didn't you? I'm not even going to answer that. In that case, you're on bathroom duty. That is so unfair. <clears throat> it wasn't Tracy who sent the messages. I'm responsible. I hid Duke's phone in Tracy's bag. You were trying to get me in trouble? Thanks a lot. OK, Wilson, you can start on the bathroom right away. So now, I don't think I'm ready for a mobile phone yet. <sighs> you, that was close. You did this. You sent the text messages. At first, I was against the whole thing, but now, I think it'll go down in history as a classic. But why did Wilson take the blame? How sweet. Looks like Tracy Beak has got her very own knight in shining armour. I don't need a knight in shining armour. I know you didn't do it, so why'd you take the blame? Um, how about I love the smell of disinfectant? I can look after myself, Wilson. I don't need you. It's just... I didn't want you to get in trouble. I shouldn't have taken the blame. I'm an idiot. I hate the smell of disinfectant. I suppose I could keep you company. I like that. Tracy. Yeah? Would you come to the hospital with me tomorrow? You want me to come and see your mum? Only if you want to. It's just I don't want to go alone. And, well, the truth is, I really like you, Tracy Beaker. That's nice, but there's really no need to say it out loud. Maybe if you go this way and I go this way. Yeah. Okay, I like you. So what? What's the difference between Justine and a bucket full of mouldy maggots? <laughs> the bucket! Do you want a photo or what? Wish I had a camera with me yesterday. What's that supposed to mean? Where are you going? To play football. Shores first, then football. What about them? Just thumb and nails. Five minutes. Tracy? Don't get me wrong. There's nothing I would love more than to break my back digging up muddy potatoes. But? I'm going with Wilson to visit his mum in hospital. Yeah, so don't stand in the way of Tracy and her new boyfriend. <laughs> Number one, a hospital visit is hardly a hot date. Number two, Wilson is not my boyfriend. Yeah, so why were you two snogging? Oh. Beaky's got a boyfriend. Kissy, kissy. Ugh. All lies. It was in the bathroom. I saw you both. Shut your gob, brain. Talk about romantic. They were stood next to the bog Wilson were just cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the bleach fumes confused Wilson's poor mind. <laughs> Give it a rest, you rotten lot. Let's go dig. Tracy and Wilson sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. You should get yourself back to the hospital for some more secret snogging. <laughs> right, prepare to eat knuckle burger. Enough. Thank you. Why are you going to the hospital? Wilson asked me to go with him to see his mum. Oh. She was discharged this morning. Nathan took Wilson home first thing. So he's gone? Sorry. Some boyfriend. He left without saying goodbye. I'm really not in the least bit bothered. <laughs> Would 
did you feel in Tracy's shoes? Come on, you lot. Put your backs into it. What's the horrible smell? That'll be the horse manure I put on the vegetables. Oh. Nothing new. Once again, I'm in the poop. <laughs> <laughs> Trisha! this in the dining room. Shelley, you're so predictable. Sorry? I know why you're here, but I really don't care about Wilson at all. Fine. He's gone. So what? Kids leave the dumping ground every other week. Message understood. Tracy Beaker couldn't care less. He was kind of cute, though. Maybe a little bit. Was he a good kisser? There'll be plenty of other boys. That first kiss is always the sweetest, though. I remember my first boyfriend, Richard. Please, let's not go there. You're making me feel queasy. Let's have a look. Isn't it? Oh. Hey, hands off! I found it! But on house property. So? So, it belongs to everyone. Think again, Duke. Share your selfish pig. Some hope. He never shares anything. Michael, hand it over. I said hand it over. Michael, come back here. What's in there? No. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> this was buried by the Mellor family in 1972. It's a time capsule. You mean they wore these all those years ago? How cool is that? This must be the Mellors. They look like a really happy family. Hmm. Weird to think. There was once one of those in the dumping ground. I know. Why don't we make one of our own? Yeah. yeah. Kids, get into that house and choose your time capsule treasures. Go, 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 go! What's up? She looks like my mum. What do you want, snot face? Uh, we found the time capsule in the garden. This is me trying hard to look remotely interested. Sorry. You're obviously too busy trying to get over Wilson that you can't come out and have fun with us. Fun is not being an anorak saddle who puts their pathetic belongings into an old box. You know what I like about you, Tracy? What? Nothing. Is this big enough? Yeah. Who knows when this time capsule's opened, maybe kids will be cutting your picture out of a running magazine. How about you, Lol? I'm making a documentary about life here. Sounds good. Want this one's best? And all the awards this year go to Lawrence Pluckover for The Dumping Ground. Hogs the video camera. Ah, oh, whinge, whinge, whinge. There is some truth in that, Long. Come on, as if she'd not use it. It's not exactly rocket science, is it? How about letting Justine have a go? <laughs> Jackie, you can help her. OK. You want to see a real documentary? We'll make you one. Go for it, girls. Action. Bacon sarni, my styly. Get some really thick-cut bacon, some prime white bread, crisp lettuce, Juicy tomatoes, and to finish it off completely, some delicious brown sauce. Putilicious. Pathetic. I'm caught. What do you want? To film your fantastic football skills. Maybe I could give you five minutes. Hi, I'm Lol. The Dumbo Girls dashing young soccer star. Ah. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I want that refilming. No way, that was Comedy Central. <laughs> Oi! See the look on his face? Comedy, Comedy Central. Central. <laughs> oh, hi, Tracy. 
Percy, do you want to help us make our film? Go on, admit it. It looks fun. Like you said, Tracy, this stupid project is only for sad Anorax. Stay home and stay out of it. Go on, tell him how it is. <laughs> Join into your dumb project who pay me a million quid. It's for dorks. And when someone picks on your pathetic rubbish in the future, they'll die of boredom. So I guess that would be a no. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hands off! That's my private stash of camembert cheese. Oh, it stinks. <laughs> oh, no, he's got those horrible cheapo sausages. I haven't had any complaints before. You wouldn't give these to a dog. Stop filming. It's for the time capsule. I refuse to let future generations see my cooking ridiculed. Sorry, Duke, but we won't be censored. Right, then. <laughs> Sweetheart, what's the matter? I can't find a picture of me and my mum to put in the box. Duke, is there any more bread and butter? Yeah, when you finish your sausages. Have you tried them? They're not good. Don't you start. Ask Jackie for the ketchup. No, I'm not talking to Jackie or Justine. First they nip my camera, then they may milk like a right dweeb. Crash. Oh, buddy. Pass the ketchup, please. We need you to take over and sort everything out. Right, that's enough. It's blatantly obvious you can't do this time capsule without my help. So I'm going to have to step in and take charge. Uh, excuse me, but I thought you said it was for dorks. Your time capsule would be rubbish. Now, as I live here, I don't want my name associated with Dross. So, Jackie, you can be my right-hand girl. Justine, go finish your film pronto. You go make another collage, make it good. I'll help Hayley find her photo, and the rest of you can go out and dig a hole for the time capsule, OK? I think she's over Wilson. Where did you last see it? Right, let's think logically. You're a soppy little kid, so where'd you put a picture of your mum? Got it. Already looked there. I have looked in here. Oh, thanks, Tracy. I can't help being a genius. Hi, dudes. I've got something for you. Wilson wanted you to have this. It's his mobile number. Ooh, Tracy Baker, have you got yourself a boyfriend? Mm. <laughs> Surprise. Say that again. We are gathered here today to witness the burial of this time capsule. What's that weird smell? Horse manure. Well done, you guys. A lot of good work has gone into this. Any more stuff to go in? Are you sure, Hayley? You haven't got many photographs of you and your mum left. Hang on to it. No, I really wanted to go in. Stop! That's where it went. You rat! I found the old time capsule and everyone else just muscled in. You rotten swine, that stinky cheese would have gone all runny and ruined all our things. Let's get him, dude. Uh, Peace. 
At least you owned up to it before it was too late. Are we going to bury this, then? Hang on. Do you recognise any of these? What's this? What's the left me the photos as a goodbye present? Look on the back. Are you going to call him? You wouldn't understand. Sure, he was cute enough, but I'm far too busy for boyfriends. I'm done with love.